Hello, and welcome to this presentation on how to install your repository for Team Server or the Professional Edition. And uh, here we'll be taking a look at Microsoft SQL Server first. Here's the agenda. First, we'll be going ahead and configuring SQL Server for the database repository setup. We'll be creating the SQL Server database. Next, we will go ahead and create a SQL Server login and explore Windows authentication options. We will then uh, go ahead and assign the DB owner role to that database. And uh, finally, we can go ahead and log in into that database and test it uh, with the new login. So let me just go ahead and, and switch over to our screen here. Here you can see that we have I've launched the, the Microsoft SQL Server Configuration Manager. So under this Configuration Manager, just navigate to the SQL Server Network Configuration area and make sure that TCP IP is enabled. Once that is done, next we will go ahead and launch Management Studio. And here you can go ahead and choose the server, enter the server name. Here I'll choose Windows Authentication to log in for the very first time. The first thing we'll do is we'll actually go ahead and um, create a login under the at the server level. We'll navigate under the security folder. We'll go to logins. And here I'll go ahead and create a new login. And here you can see that we have a SQL Server. And here I'll just call it a Steam server. And we'll give it a password. Next, we'll just leave everything as the defaults and hit OK. Next, what we'll do is we'll go ahead and create our new database. Here I'll just call it as Team Server. Now what we'll do is we'll verify that the database exists. Yes, it's good. Everything's blank. Next, what we'll do is we'll double click on the Team Server login, and we'll go to the User Mappings tab. And here, I'll go ahead and pick the Team Server database, and I'll pick DB Owner. Now that we're done with this, what I'll do is I'll go ahead and in initiate a new connection to validate that the login works as desired, and that no other databases will be accessible by this user. So now I can navigate down here, and I can go ahead and uh, choose, and there you go. And here what we'll do is we can see that all the tables are empty. And if you can uh, just go ahead and, and launch a new query window, you can uh, go ahead and, uh, and pick this database, and we'll just say create table sample, which we'll delete later. And there we go. So now we have that. Excellent. So now we can go ahead and validate that those that table was actually created. Then I'll just go ahead and drop table sample. There you go. So now let's refresh this. Excellent. So now we have a nice, uh, clean database that we have that we can work with, and we are all ready for the uh, Team Server install to begin. So thank you very much for watching this video. And if you have any more questions, please feel free to. Uh, navigate to this website at idera.com slash contact sales, and we'll be more than happy to speak with you. Thank you, and have a good day.